Well, how's it going, everybody? I finally decided to do a How It's Made video on my little skitter, and here it is. All of its glory, just chilling. <laughs> you can see here, this is the underside. This is kind of what it looks like, front and back. Here's the pulley set up. The drive pulley is coming out there in the front to the back pulley, which runs the transmission with the uh, tensioner pulley right there, the nice big spring, keeping her tight. This is what the frame looks from underneath, looks like from underneath. Through this hole, you can kind of see the drive pulley from the motor. And that goes back and it drives this little peerless transmission. These little transmissions are in all, all kinds of things. Great little transmissions. They're a little bit light duty, but they do a pretty good job. So far, it's done a great job for me. Now, when you put this thing in gear, it'll spin these axles on each side. And uh, when each axle, each axle on each side is spinning, it'll spin these pulleys on the outside. And now this belt it has a little bit of play in it. It's loose. Until so you push down on the handles. When you push down on these handles, it'll tighten that belt, and that'll drive the, uh, the drive pulleys. Here in the front, you can see, again, push down the drive pulley. Sorry, push down the handle, and it'll push down the drive pulley pulley which will drive the belt. And these hubs also have a built-in brake which is kind of nice so when you pull back on the handle as long as you have it adjusted right it'll set the brake which is a huge help. Now these tires used to be a whole inch wider than the ones I have on here currently so I switched it out with these snowblower tires instead and they're a half inch skinnier on each side which gave me space for this sprocket setup that I have here and I got a sprocket off of Am or I think can't remember where I ordered it offline from but I got a sprocket cut it in half and then re-welded it clamped it and re-welded it to the actual hub itself and so far that's worked great for me now there's not much room in there that's why I ended up going with skinnier tires but so far it's worked great and that allows me to get basically four-wheel drive out of this thing And I uh, went with some 40H chain, 40 heavy duty, and it's worked great so far. This is my little chain tightener setup. It's got a little free spinning wheel down there on the bottom with the with a spring lifting it up. I could probably bend it out a little bit more to keep it more in line, but so far it's it's doing fine. I haven't actually had a chain jump off yet. Back here is another one of those little wheels. Got those off Amazon. They were pretty cheap. And it does a great job. Now if I go in reverse real hard, it'll put a lot of tension on that, which I try not to do if I have a log on the deck. But otherwise, I don't worry about it too much. Back here, I've got a big washer on the inside to help keep the chain on so it won't jump off, which it hasn't yet. I haven't had any need, need for it. I got one of those same sprockets on the back welded onto the back, uh, back hub. And uh, the back's only a three-quarter inch axle. It's uh, stainless. I got to weld it onto because it's not going nowhere. Um, so far, it's done fine. No, no kind of bending or anything. So the three-quarter inch axle is doing all right. On this side, it's the same thing, obviously. I don't know if you can tell, but from underneath, I used to have a different tensioner setup where I actually had a strut that was pushing down on a counter lever that would then move up to tighten the chain but I ran over a big stump <laughs> and uh, yanked one side off so I decided to do this little simpler setup instead and so far it's been fine I haven't had any need for for doing anything else I could strengthen it up but I don't think I really need to now this mower deck excuse me this mower is set up exactly how it used to be but the deck used to be out front which wouldn't work that great right so with the motor being set up like it is now and the deck out front, I decided to cut that off and put my frame out the back. So I welded in a frame, a nice big rectangular frame out of 3 inch channel tubing out the back and these side little uh, kick out panels I did with one, I think it's 1 inch by inch and a half tubing and that so far has been plenty strong enough. 
I took a chunk of the metal off of the uh, mower deck out front. I think it was half inch plate. And I welded that in here for the internal sleeve of my boom to be welded to. And you can see here underneath in a second. That nice big plate. And I have those cross members there to keep everything nice and sturdy. I think those are one by three inch tube, eighth inch thick. On the inside of this is where that internal sleeve is at, and it was a little bit small for this outer pipe, so I put a piece of uh, sheet metal in there, wrapped around that internal sleeve, and that took out all the, all the play, and made this thing actually really, really tight. Works good. It's bent a little bit. I think maybe that happened right when I first lifted the first heavy log, but since then it hasn't moved at all, so I'm not going to worry about it. I've had this thing to where I've, I'm jumping on the front of it trying to get the log up to the the deck. Now this ram here, I got it off Amazon. I think it was 50-something bucks. It's made for you know those usual normal cherry picker setups for moving engines from trucks. Got three-quarter inch bolts on each side. Up top I have a half inch plate with quarter inch sides and then I also welded a quarter inch sides onto the boom just to give it some more strength before I drilled the holes through all those layers of metal and put that three quarter inch pin through there and that I, that's just a piece of that axle that I had left over so I figured that would work now this this uh, winch is just a 3,000 pound winch. Got off Amazon again. Wasn't very expensive. I think it was 100 bucks, 120 bucks. Um, road bore or something like that. And so far it's done great, man. It freaking, it lifts some stuff. <laughs> That's for sure. Now my boom, I got it set up to where it sticks out behind the back wheels a little bit. So that if I ever ran into an issue where I couldn't lift the log with the winch... I could at least get it close and then uh, use the ram to lift the log up and get it onto the bunk so I can get carried away. So far that's worked great. You can see my log tongs there. I need to do a video on those as well. I made this little bucket holder that actually mounts inside of the uh, headrest mounts. Worked great. Gives me somewhere to put my bar oil and stuff like that. I reuse the gas tank for the mower, obviously, because it's just the simplest thing to do. Now this battery, I got it off of Amazon, and I think, it, again, it was like 30 bucks. It wasn't super expensive. And this mower was set up to where it had like a magnetic PTO drive that came off of the drive shaft, and that's what drove the uh, mowing unit out front. So I tapped into that, with this battery, since I don't have a mowing unit out front. And that's what I use to keep this battery charged with the engine. And I can still run the still run the winch while the engine isn't running, because I got the battery, and then when the engine runs, it recharges the battery, and it works great. It's probably not the best thing to do, but you know what? For how much I use this thing, it's doing just fine. And I got this seat out of a Subaru that some some douchebag jumped, dumped in the woods by my house. Uh, so I went out there and I salvaged uh, this seat out of it. I also got the horn too, which I might have to add to this thing at some point. It'd be pretty funny. It's just a simple little seat. I should probably get a seat cover for it and make it nice. The exhaust, I had to turn it 180 degrees and then uh, mount it to the side of the seat frame there. Over here on this side, you can see my little control box for the key, the start and stop, and the choke. A little janky. I definitely need to add sides to it, but it does all right for, for now. Here you can see the rectifier for the engine that I use to keep the battery charged and run all the electrical stuff. I want to put some lights on this thing eventually so I can plow some snow or something with it in the winter when it's snowing. This is my gear shifter. Forward is fifth, all the way back is reverse. And then you got first, second, third, fourth. 
and obviously it's it's got the neutral as well. I added these springs to pull back on the handles a little better because those springs that came with it just just weren't cutting it. And man, those things really help. It's basically setting like a park parking brake. So when I drive this thing, push down on both handles to go forward. And if you want to turn right, you pull up on the right. If you want to turn left, you pull up on the left. And it's pretty simple. This thing works great. Tell me what you guys think.